Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Lauren. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm in a different place today. I'm in my office and that is because we're going to be doing something a little different. So I thought we would have a different location. So today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. I've gotten so many requests from you guys to make this video and I just get a lot of questions on what my filters are, what apps I use to edit everything and you know, my little secrets. So I thought that I would share some of those things with you guys today. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the number one equipment question that I always get is what camera I use. And I use a Canon M50 camera that is the one that's actually filming right now. So it's great for videos and I love the quality of the pictures. I actually bought this camera because I wanted a video camera that was a little bit more high quality than the one that I used to use. And since I had it, I just decided to start using it for my Instagram pictures as well. But before I had this camera, I always used to take my pictures on my iPhone. I think at the time I had the iPhone 8. And the quality of the pictures were okay, so I used to use that one. But that kind of takes me to my second equipment question that I get asked, which is, do I recommend to buy a camera or should you just stick with an iPhone? If you have an iPhone that works well and you like the quality, then I don't really think you need to buy a camera if you don't want to. So the answer is that it depends on you and what you're looking for and whether you're happy with the pictures that you have now or not. So. It's on you, girlfriend. So moving on, the second topic that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is editing. And that means that I'm going to be touching on filters and applications. This is something that I get asked so much. It's the most asked question is what filter I use and what apps I use to edit my pictures. So this is the moment that you guys have been waiting for. Drum roll, please. The filter that I use is from an app called Visco. It is the M5 filter and it is a free filter that anyone can use. People think that I change up my filters a lot because some of my pictures have like different looks, but it's not the filter that I change, it's the colors that I use on my feed that change. And so it makes the filter look different. But now I wanna to get to actually showing you guys what I'm talking about and how this filter looks. So I'm gonna grab my phone and we are gonna go and find a picture. So the picture I'm gonna be using today to show you guys the M5 filter is one that I did a photo shoot like a couple weeks ago and I already posted this photo shoot up but this picture actually didn't make it into my Instagram feed. Visco honestly has a lot of filters that you guys can choose from that are free. Not that many honestly. I lied. You basically just apply the filter and you can see the difference and then you can see that it's up all the way to 12 and 12 is like the max amount of the filter that you can put on your picture so I always like to go nowhere less than six but some pictures it looks better with a little more some pictures it looks better with a little less so maybe for this one I'll just do like a 7.5 and there you can see the difference so then you just save it and it saves to your camera roll so the next thing that I do is I go on the camera roll because this is where I like to edit the lighting so first of all you want to put your brightness all the way up because that's how you're gonna know if the picture has too much light or not so I never like to change the exposure or brightness or anything until I've seen it at full brightness so I can see that there is good lighting like you can see the sheet on the left side it has pretty good lighting um, however I do think that there's too many shadows and the picture looks a little dark so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off some shadows you can see like the difference already and then I also like to go into contrast and kind of take that out and you can already see the difference so one thing that happens when you take out contrast and shadows is that it takes a lot of the darks away from the picture so I do like to use the black point and just enhance it a little bit just so that it gives the image a little bit more of a crisp look so this is what the edited picture looks like and that's what the before picture look like. But when I do have kind of like a vintage feed going on, I do like to add another filter on top of my regular filter. The app is called Cooney or Cunny. I feel like it sounds wrong both ways, so I never know how to say it, but I'm guessing it's one of those. One reason that I really love this app is because it has like hundreds, hundreds, you guys, of filters, and it is for free. So as you guys can see, I just keep going, and these are all free filters, like all of these filters are free. Personally, not all of them are great or that I would personally use, but there are some really good filters in here and they look really nice on pictures. So I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a unique filter, I would recommend you guys looking up the Cooney app if you don't have it already. And so what I like to do is I like to go on the basics. I'm basic, what can I say? But I like to go on the basic filters on Cooney and I like to use the sepia one. So there's sepia and then there's turquoise sepia, but I just use the regular sepia. So this is a picture I already edited on Visco. So I like to overlap sepia on top of it. But what I like to do is lower down the filter and I normally put anywhere from like 5 to 20 it depends on the picture and what I'm going for so for this one as you can see if I put 5 it's just a little bit if I put 20 honestly it doesn't look that bad but I'm gonna put like 15 like somewhere in the middle you know 
and you guys can see a little bit of the difference. It went from like a lot of blues in the middle of the picture to some more warmer tones, which I personally really like. Cooney is also great for dust. This is a question I get a lot, is how do I put dust in my pictures and in my videos? And this is a secret. This is the app. So I like to go on the dust tab at the bottom. They have so many different dust filters that you guys can choose from. They have dust, they have scratches, they have rain, which I've never used in my life. And they also have snow, which again, I've never used, but it looks kind of cool. So if you're really into like kind of that creative type of uh, editing, then this might be for you. So one thing that I really like about the dust filter is that you can choose one filter and then you can move it around in the picture and it actually shows you what it would look like if you move the dust, which is good because sometimes that dust, it just falls right on your eyeball or it falls right on your face and covers it, which you don't want. So I'm just gonna go and use this one. So you can have white dust on your picture or you can have black dust. And this might not be for everyone, but I actually edited a picture with black dust. It was a Halloween picture and it looks kind of cool and vintagey. So this is what the picture looked like before I did any editing to it. And this is what it looks like after I used both Visco and the Cooney app. So another reason that I like the Cooney app is because you can actually create your own preset. Yep, I said it, you can create your own preset. Also you guys, sorry if you can hear like thunder and rain, it's literally thundering outside and I'm trying to do my best to fight with the thunder, but yeah. So this picture is already edited how I'm going to be posting it on my feed, um, but I thought that I would show you guys how you can create a preset on Cooney using this picture. So let's pick a filter, any filter, let's kind of make it different because I normally don't use a lot of filters from Cooney, so let's try one out. Okay, so this is kind of cute. It's one of the vintage filters that they have. It's a little bit more dramatic, so I thought that this is a good example. So I'm gonna do around 50% of it, and you guys can see that there's a major difference. And it looks really pretty like this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, and then I'm gonna go to dust and add some dust. I wanna make it kind of dramatic. That's the problem when you use dramatic dust is the fact that the dust will like cover your face, so. I'm trying to find a good one that like doesn't do too much. Okay, so this one looks good. It's not that dramatic, but you know, you can see it. You can also do 3D, which I think is really cool. Another thing that you can do on Cooney app is add a date to your pictures. And the cool thing about this app is that you can choose the different fonts that you wanna use for the date. If you want, you can go ahead and add some grain. Actually, I really like the grain. Okay, so let's pretend that this is our preset. So all that I did was I added the grain, I added the dust, and I added the filter. So then all that you're gonna do is go to the recipes, you click plus once you've edited your picture, and you give it a name. So I'm gonna name it Vintage, and there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the picture that we were editing earlier, but this time I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the preset that we just created. So you go to recipes, and then you just put it on top, and this is what it would look like. So obviously it looks different for different types of pictures, but that is kind of how you create your own preset on Cooney. And then another cool thing that you can do on the Cooney app is actually edit videos. So I think this costs like a dollar or two to get, but it's honestly worth it because this is how I have given like that vintage look to all of my videos. I've used it for my reels, I've used it for IGTV, and also for like the videos that I post on my actual grid. So if you guys have been wondering how I do that, Cooney's the app. So I go ahead and choose the video and then I put about like 20 of the sepia and then I like to go to dust and the video dust is different from the picture dust. So the picture dust is like static, but this one isn't. This one kind of moves around, which I think is really cool. So I just like to add the first one. This first one is my favorite and I move it down. I don't put all of it in it. You just do that. And then you can go to FX, which is my favorite part. The one that I always like to use is the old film too and you can move it down. Or you can also do the Super 8, which I also really like. And yeah, and then I just save it. Ta-da! And that's how I edit my vintage videos for Instagram. So in my last video, I did say that I use Facetune, which I still do. I used to use it more for brightening white spaces in my pictures because I had kind of like a bleach look going on. I don't really do that anymore, so I use Facetune for something else. And the first thing that I use it for is to adjust my hair. So whenever I have like a vintage photo shoot where I do kind of a half up, half down hairstyle and I have like a poof going, sometimes the poof isn't as poofy as it looks in real life. So this is how I do it. I use Facetune. I'll post a picture up here for you guys to see what I'm talking about but if you guys have seen this picture on my Instagram the poof is not actually this poofy so I used Facetune to actually fix that so this is what the original picture looked like I know it looks nothing like the one that I posted on Instagram and that's because I photoshopped the background but the original pictures you guys can see my hair was kind of flat like it still had a little bit of volume but it was kind of flat so I went ahead and I used the reshape tool and they refine specifically and I just kind of molded my hair to look a little bit more poofy. That I kind of like to lower any parts that are looking weird. 
and then try to make it like as even as possible. Okay, so the next way that I use Facetune is to enhance or change color on my pictures. So there was one picture that I did that you guys really liked and that was my floral top. So originally the flowers were purple and I didn't want purple because my feet didn't have any purple. So I went ahead and I used the paint tool and I just chose a blue that I liked. So all I did was just kind of drag my finger over them and paint them. And this is kind of rigorous. It took a little bit of time to do, but that's kind of how I got the blue rather than purple. I never use 100% of color or filters because I think it just looks really fake. So I like to lower it down a little bit, but yeah, that's how I did this picture. And then the last thing that I like to use Facetune for is to adjust any dark circles under my eyes or any like dark shadows that might happen from harsh lighting. So this is a picture that I'm talking about. And in this picture, the problem that happened was that I had a dark circle under my eye. It was just from the darkness in my room and the lightness outside. It just caused a dark shadow. One thing that I normally would do if that happens is use Facetune to fix that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I didn't post it fixed. I actually just posted it natural because as much as I thought about it, I was like, oh, it doesn't really matter, like whatever. So as you can see, there's a kind of like a dark circle under my eye. So I like to go to paint. It automatically goes to the skin tab. And then the first color is just a color that goes well with my skin tone, but you might want to choose something that's lighter than your skin tone. And I just kind of brush through like that dark shadow. And then I know it looks weird, but again, you don't want to put 100% of a filter on. And then I smooth it just to make sure that any like weird wrinkles or harsh lines from where I colored it in uh, are visible. So I just like to smooth it out and make it really nice and smooth and then we can see from far away the difference that that made so that's normally what i would do just to kind of fix those dark circles if you have any if you wear hats in the middle of the day and it might create a really harsh shadow on your face if you want to lighten it you might use something like this just to lighten it up a little bit um, but any dark circles any dark spots any bruises on your legs ladies this is also a great way to fix it so this is the kind of stuff that i use facetune for and the last thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is planning so what does planning mean it means how i plan my instagram how i know what i'm going to post when i'm going to post it how it's going to look if you're a content creator or a blogger you probably already have this app and you know your way around it but for those of you guys that are starting out or that you don't know about this app the app is called preview and it is one that i talked about in my last video but i still use it and i love it and i have not found a free app that does something similar like this that is this good so preview basically lets you see what your instagram would look like if you added other pictures to it and it just helps to plan out what your instagram is going to look like when you post the picture another cool thing that i like about preview is that it lets you take out a picture that you've already posted on instagram so let's say i don't want this picture of me in a yellow cardigan i just don't like how it looks on my feed i want to take it out so you click on it and then you hit this little eye icon at the bottom and it shows you what it would look like if you deleted the picture which i think is really cool because sometimes you guys things are not matching up and you just got to get rid of it so that's kind of what it's good for preview also has like different analytics and things that i've never really looked into i just use it to plan out my feed and that's pretty much it but if you get this app you might want to explore it because it has some other cool features that you can look into so yeah guys those are all the tips and tricks that i have to tell you guys i am going to be filming a part two to this video basically showing you guys how i pick an outfit how i go do the photo shoot and all like my little photo shoot tips and tricks and then how i edit the pictures at the end so kind of going through that whole start to finish process i hope that you guys like this video like always make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye